So what is the, the complaint again? Eh? Constipation. Constipation. Going to the toilet, mm. in and out, in and out. Mm. Then I, I see him shitting blood. During the physical examination, the cat got angry and scratched the hand of our veterinarian. This is a very angry and fractious cat who got constipation and passed out blood. So how are the vets going to treat its illnesses? Watch the video to find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video contains surgical procedures. Viewer discretion is advised. This August 21st, 2017. How is the This is a Roughly three years domestic short hair cat. So what is the, the complaint again? Eh? Constipation. Constipation. Going to the toilet, mm. in and out, in and out. Mm. Then I, I see him shitting blood. We have to take the cat out of the carrier to conduct the physical examination. Now we have a problem. Being a very nervous cat, it does not want to come out of its cage. So what are the vets going to do? There are three ways to solve this problem. Firstly, we can tilt the carrier, allowing the cat to come out due to gravity. We can also open up the upper cover of the carrier, allowing the owner to carry it out. Thirdly, we, we can apply anesthetics to the cat, calming it down before carrying it out. Here's a footage of a real-life example. After taking the cat out, we conducted the physical examination. The physical examination shows that the cat is healthy as its temperature is within the normal range, its heart and its lungs are all healthy as well. At this point, the cat got angry and scratched the hand of one of our veterinarians. The blood test and urine test were conducted. Here are the results. The amount of platelet is lower than normal. What does this signify? This signifies that the cat suffers from thrombocytopenia, which is caused by the internal destruction of platelets and also caused by impaired bone marrow production. We can also see that the amount of protein in the urine is abnormally high. The condition of having excessive protein in urine is called proteinuria. This is usually caused by hypertension, inflammation of the kidneys, or blood in the urine. In this case, proteinuria is caused by the blood present in the urine, which contains the protein. So what has caused the blood to be present in the urine? This syndrome is called hematuria and it is usually caused by infectious diseases, kidney structural problems, inflammation or trauma. Since this cat spends most of the time outdoors and it was a stray cat before being adopted, it is highly likely to have experienced trauma, causing blood to be present in the urine. Unfortunately, we do not have the footage of the surgery of this particular cat. There is another cat which had problem passing out urine due to a swollen prepuce. We carried out catheterization on this cat. First, we inserted the catheter into the bladder. Then, we inserted Hartman's solution into the bladder. After irrigation has been done, we syringed out the bladder content. It was discovered that the content included blood, white blood cell and bacteria. After that, the cat was sedated and we collected urine using the syringe. The owner of this cat did not ask for x-ray examination. So here are photos of another cat undergoing x-ray examination. X-ray examination is used to discover the location of the stone and sand in the organs that have caused the urinary tract disease. In this first cat, we were able to discover the location of the left kidney stones. And in this second cat, we were able to see that the bladder is large and distended. In the third case study, we were able to see that there are urethral stones obstructing urine flow, causing its dysuria. So what can we conclude from the data we have? We were able to diagnose three symptoms. 
The cat is suffering from hematuria, thrombocytopenia, and proteinuria. What are the causes of these symptoms? Firstly, the cat might have consumed poisonous material while straying outside, resulting in kidney inflammation. A second possible conclusion is that he had traumatic experiences while straying, and his kidneys were damaged in a possible fight. The third possible conclusion is that there are stones found in his urinary tract. Since the owner did not ask for x-ray examination, we were unable to confirm the true cause of the cat's illness. The owner was advised to do a follow-up with us in a week's time on how the cat is doing.